Welcome back to my big trashy, no, 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 wait. Welcome back to the Abundant Harvest Homestead. I'm Papa Pepper. These are all free sources, stuff I cannot grow and uh, can't make. So while I have an opportunity to get them, yeah, I like having them. But here, they're just gonna turn into a pile of trash that gets destroyed. Here, we have another option. So I'm gonna sit here and see if today, which is some of my time on the 30th, I got other things I'm working on, and then tomorrow, which would be New Year's Eve, December 31st, how much of this I can do. I have two main goals, and uh, wait, three, three main goals. One main goal is to switch out that pole over there, the four x four, put a cedar in, and get all of these with gabions, thanks to Eric Johnson, one of our subscribers who suggested that. Now I do have a head start, because I made one the other day, last night with Monster Truck. The other main goal is going to be Finishing the roof. You see where the light's shining through the rafters there? I have either nine or 11 probably sheets of metal. I don't know. It's wet. It's been raining. It's slippery up there. I don't know if I'll do it today or if it'll be worse to do tomorrow, but I want to get those last sheets of metal on and I want to get some more of this cleaned up. If I can accomplish those three goals and have that kind of done for this project, I'll be sitting pretty or at least prettier than normal. Right now, I'm working on a shelf. Check this out. If you saw the last video where I was working on this, I filled up, that stuff was scattered everywhere. Filled that up. Some of that metal I might actually use on this building, but I wanted it out of the way and stored for now. I've got a second shelf there, see it? That can be filled now. And I'm actually building a shelf here. And this is gonna be where I can storage some stuff underneath here. Um, here I want a pallet standing upright in this gap and I want to screw it to here. The pallet standing upright is going to create a little barrier like that where I'll be able to stand things up in it. Look at that. See that pipe there? That pipe on that pallet could fit in there. There's other things and I could just have them there. They'll be readily available and just kind of sit in there. And then also I want to keep it from here over open for a vehicle to pull in. So whatever I have is tight against the wall with all that stuff. Everything else is two dimensional against the wall. Eventually I want to run some magnets. I got to find some long magnets and just put tools. So they're all just sitting there and I can see them. And then besides this where I'm going to fill in, this area here is going to be my staging area. Um, any of my tools, like my table saw and other stuff, I want in this area pretty much between all these poles here. So that way if I need to work on something, I can pull them out into this space when there's not a car here. Cars are only really going to be here if I've got like a hailstorm or something like that going on. I'll pull one vehicle in to protect it. Otherwise, I'm going to try to keep it open carefully. It's dangerous. People you fill things with clutter, you know. But I'm going to try to just have like a table saw, pull it out, do some woodwork, and put it back. Because that way, I have a nice area to work in. In the summer, it's out of the sun. And in the winter, or uh, you know, the rainy season, it's out of the rain. That's going to be awesome. But even out here, you know, all these boards in this heaping mound are useful. I'll use them for something, but not like that. Like that, they're going to rot. So if I get them and put them on a shelf like this, yeah. Then we'll be talking. And I'm gonna look through some of the bigger stuff like that. I'll bring that underneath here. Maybe some other stuff. Put it underneath here. I should probably rake that out first too. I'll have one of the little peppers get me a, a rake and we'll just pull that out. There's no reason to have that in there right now. So I've got three goals with this project. Put some more stuff away, finish the roof, <laughs> and then replace that pillar, which I do have the cedar there already. I'm setting myself up for success and run out all these gabions. Probably the toughest part of that will be all the rocks for this, but I do have some plans. So I think I can do it, I just have to try. What do you think, will I make it? Let me know in the comment section if you think I'm gonna succeed or not. I only have like a day and a half. Let me know. Kind of where I'm starting at for this project. And from above, plus here's the roof. We'll get there. Yeah, I'm guessing that's seven. 
We'll get them. I think so. Check this out, y'all. I enlisted this guy in my help to uh, sort out some of this stuff. I think maybe these, no, they're not. These were in there. There was a time I wasn't sure if I should throw them out or not, but I asked him if he'd sort them out so we could be done with them. And he goes, well, do you want me to save the good laces? And I'm like, son, that's exactly the mindset. Uh, I don't mind them having. I don't want them to be a hoarder. I don't want them to save every last bit of junk, but eventually shoelaces will break. Eventually we'll just have some hang in there, or we can use it as a rope, right? Plenty of things we can do with it, but yeah, how cool is that? Of course, some of my shoes are Velcro, because I'd take it easy on myself. Look at that. It's got moss growing on there already. I'm not going to wear those. Maybe in the swamp. Not in public. <laughs> Good thinking, son. Delicious breakfast today. Some beef, hot dogs, and eggs, and for some reason this tastes amazing. They got buttered toast, and Pinky made these? Yes, sir. Some homemade biscuits, and are they sourdough? Wow, and they are, they're hearty. That's like a meal right there. But, you guys were super excited because what did you guys finish? We finished our first hot yeah, sauce. Yeah, hot sauce. The serrano lime? Yes. And what do you got now? We have this one. Habanero mango. Yes, the little peppers, they like hot sauces. Monster truck's digging out some fermented jalapenos right now. But yeah. And these are our water glass eggs, Papa. These are the water glass eggs? Yep. Whoa, these we got a we got a video glass. we're working on. Scrambled eggs. With water glass eggs. So you guys stay tuned for that. Um, pretty exciting. Wow, that's I'm amazing. Excited. All right, with habaneros in them. You know, it's like a third of the heat level of a ghost pepper, right? Mm -hmm. Do you guys like that? Mm -hmm. well, I guess we've never mm -hmm. tried it before. Yeah, we have. We've had this one before. Yeah, we had that one oh, before. Oh, it's the other one we have. And that's one thing too, guys. Small children don't need to be eating super hot peppers, but if they enjoy a hot sauce, they can. And uh, it's kind of like with a lot of things. I'll at least expose them to things, give them a frame of reference for things that are reasonable. Whether it's snakes or adventure or bow fishing or, you know, whatever it may be. Uh, kayaking down rivers and creeks and then, you know, if they never need that information or that skill when they get older, that's fine. But, you know, they can at least have a frame of reference. Here, they got a frame of reference for hot sauce. I know plenty of adults who cower at things that my children are just like, Oh, that's delicious. Can I have more? Does it got a sweet heat? Yeah. That's uh, what, how oh yeah, habanero mango. I'm excited. I want to eat too. Woo <laughs> woo. I've got a lot of five gallon buckets of rocks staged down there. It's either six or eight per T post over there. Those I stayed, I left there, but I had a whole pile of them closer that were just sitting in this pasture. So I'm gonna clean them up, use them on this project and uh, make it easier to fill these in time. But also then they ain't just a mess sitting out there. I got a lot of things to do before I get to that point where I'm using these. So let's use them over here instead. 
Although these are all varying diameters, this one here is probably the skinniest, the fattest one is the one on the end. Um, I'm gonna have a consistency with the Gabions. So that one has 32 uprights around it. So I'm gonna go over, count 32 and cut one and pick another one of these to go around. I'll probably do this one next. For one, I'm not sure if mama knows about that. So the farther back they are, the more of a surprise it'll be. If I do the one sitting on front, she'll see that right away. But uh, also, this is a project. I mean, it takes a bit to carry all those five gallon buckets. So if at the beginning of the project, I'm doing the ones that are the farthest, that's gonna help. What's going on there? Uh, so, I'll let me cut my wire. We'll throw the first one up. And uh, boy, really, I wanna do all these. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. We'll find out. Well, that's kind of discouraging. 13 five gallon buckets just to fill one. At least we got the rocks. In fact, uh, monster truck and bugger are filling some up right now. Technically, I put some stuff in here. So that goal is technically, technically a success. I got one more of these up, so I doubled them, but I still got five. But I think right now, I'm gonna see if I can cross that goal off the list. Let's see if I can finish up that metal. Or at least get it closer. You can see the sun's getting lower in the, uh, in the sky. And I've got like my last 24 hours worth of hunting season with a gun available too. That might mess me up, because that might tempt me to do something else. But let's, let's see if I can get this done. got trapped on the roof last night and I did not get all the metal up I went up and was gonna just you know record some footage of me putting it up but mama pepper needed the camera inside for a, a venison pot pie video so I had to get cut short but I had the ladder going up through that hole and I got trapped up there I've got two pieces left to go and then those boards to trim pinky saved me Right, Pinky, you saved me last night? Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Because before I had the ladder here I could use, and then I had the truck parked there so I could jump off onto the roof of the truck. But I moved that as well. So I got two pieces of metal to go on. I've got the one cedar to strip, burn, 
and stand up. And then I've got five gabions to go. I think if I got 13 buckets per, uh, five is 50, five times that, 35, what? No, no, no. Three times five, 15. So yeah, 65 buckets. Five gallon buckets of rocks. Bug, do you think you can help me make some buckets of rocks today? Yeah. Okay, I know a couple places where rocks can come from and you could help? Yeah. That'd be great, because I need a lot. I literally have like 9 a.m. now till about 5 p.m. There's tons of other things I gotta do between those points, but I have that time available. So I'm gonna start trying to see what I'm gonna do. Probably gonna get all the wires made up first and maybe even put them around the ones I got. I gotta strip that down and burn it. I gotta do that and trim it. Uh, we'll see. I don't know if I'll make it. I don't know if I'll make it. And this video will be out early next year. So you'll see me say, oh, can I finish this this year? But it'll be, you know, from the 30th and 31st of December, today being the 31st. But I'm liking how organized and full, you know, this is getting, just meaning full, meaning that it's condensed. It's very packed in there. I used to do organization and condensing in warehouses as a job. So, um, nice to put some of that into practice here. What's that? I said I didn't know that. I used to run my own warehouses and they got rid of like three or four guys just to have me run it myself because of how efficient it was. Huh. How do you like that thing? I don't know. You want to see me set it up? Uh, yeah. I'm excited. Do you think that's going to do it, Bug? Yeah. Yeah? And how sturdy is it? Very strong. Yeah, very strong. It's just not flat. Show me. <laughs> okay, Bug, carefully get back down. Pretty sturdy. I stood on there to put a bunch of that stuff up and around. Huh. Yeah. All right, I got to work. Bug, what are you doing? I'm pushing it. It has wood on it. You put the wood on there so you wouldn't have to carry it all? Yeah. That's more than you could carry, Bug. That's smart. Show me how it works. Dude. I love children being smart. You're a smart guy. Sometimes the ingenuity of these children really impresses me. What a guy. You're four? Bug, are you four years old? Yeah. <laughs> I could learn something from him. Only 62 more five gallon buckets to go. I love byproducts of a task like this. Whoa, little brown skink. Probably the last lizard of the year. I love living somewhere that lizards are, but moreover, when you can find them in December, that is awesome. What a cool little creature. If you want more info, I'll put a card up in the corner that'll uh, link some info about this creature I made before. So far, I spaced it out between that first one and second one. If we combined them, it'd be about one. But thankfully, my children <laughs> decided to bless me. So I'm thinking, oh man, we might be able to almost get the first three done with this. Let's find out.
I will tell you what, it is one o'clock right now. I've got two pieces of Barnton to put on. That's like 20 minutes or less for sure. I got the two and a half gabions to fill. I got one cedar post just to burn, cut, stand up and screw in. This is like no time at all. It's 1 p.m. I've got till five. I even just showed up with all of these, which if 13 gets me one, there's 13, three, five, five. So this is over. Uh, this is over two already right here. So I'd only need like seven buckets after that. And we are looking amazing. But I just ran into an issue where the power, or sorry, the water, I have to go. Monster truck was gonna take a bath. The bathtub thing malfunctioned, handle came off, all the water spraying out of there. I had to shut down water to the whole property. And now I gotta run into town to get a replacement. It's gonna be at least an hour round trip. Ah! I don't know if I'll succeed at my goal. It just threw me a big wrench. Uh, it's not locked right now, but you can lock it on the way out. Uh, I gotta go. Man, back home by 2.36, terrible. Now what do you guys think? Now do I stand a chance? Let me know. I don't know what's possible yet. We're about to find out. I got my stuff. Can you all see that? 2.59, 2.59. I've got quite a trip to go to town. It's at least an hour of travel time. And uh, no Lowe's, no Menards. I guess there was an Ace. Uh, and I could have tried something else, but I went to a Home Depot. Thought one, I found one I thought would work. It's not gonna work. I hooked it up to where I can shut the faucets off. So at least it's not running. And we can have water through the uh, weekend to the rest of the house, but I might run and try to go get the right one. But first I'm gonna finish this. So let's, I guess let's just finish these two and at least get the roof done and see. I still have, you know, two hours of go time, but I got about a half hour worth of other stuff to do. So I don't know if I'm gonna make it or not. Look at them, look at them, look at them, look at them guys. We now have, Six, yeah, six. I've got one left, I got the replacement. Take that four by four, I'll put the cedar in, but I gotta cut the cedar, burn the cedar, scrape the cedar, oh man. I'm not even sure what time it is, but I'm gonna get up to the roof. I'm gonna do those two up there because we gotta move, that's, that's easier. That's easier, should be quicker. I'm closing in on it, guys. If you thought I was gonna be a success, at least in this, <laughs> you might be right, we'll find out. all too. Cut these off. Not too far. Well, 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 well. Cool thing is the shortest board was the length of it. So I didn't have to cut one board, but everyone else, that's awesome. Look at it all, guys. 
I think two weeks ago this was a different building. Think about that. Two weeks ago this was a different building, now it's here. I still gotta put the cap on. What do you think? Oh, let's just put on what I got up here. So it's here. Yeah, okay, let me do that quick. Tools have all been lowered, and I will need some more for the end of this. I'm thinking there's actually some in that pile, but I gotta sort through that pile first. But look at how that looks, guys. Do you see that? That looks sharp, I can't believe I did that. Not bad. Now I gotta get down, check what time it is, and before sundown I also gotta put out a, my video about our dog, our second dog we got. It's been over a year now that we've had that dog. I've been promising some people. That I would get that out, so I gotta do that before I even try to take care of the cedar. Time's running short. Well, looks like I got an hour. I think I can do it, let's give it a try. That took way too long, and I gotta be done by like five o'clock. Oh, okay. Let's measure it, cut it, and go. Measure, cut, and go. Uh, we'll figure it out. Five oh three, y'all. Bring it in, son. Look at that. Uh, add a couple to the top if you could, my boy. There we go. I have literally been pretty much sweating all day. I don't know if it's because I'm ill or because it's hot. You can see my nose, glasses, everything dripping. Boy, I'm gonna count as a success. I got some extra stuff in there. I got all these rock pillars. If the ground wasn't just covered, I mean, almost none of these rocks were collected ahead of time. All of them showed up now. Uh, and I got the roof on, plus some extra stuff, plus I had some goofy running around in town to do. Oh, buddy. Look at that. That'll work, that'll work. I'll clean up everything else sometime Sunday or something. 
I succeeded. That was crazy. Don't do that. Not that it can't be done, just I'm not sure if it's worth it. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Success. Pop out. Thank you.